Hello everyone! I'm so happy because I'm back again! I'm back from vacation, I'm just feeling super refreshed, it was definitely a break that I needed and then once I came back from my vacation I was so scared because I had to await results day uh, because for those of you who don't know I recently did my A levels and I really really wanted to get into university to study 3D animation however the entry requirements are so high and it's so hard to get into this university I want to go to but I was so happy to find out that I've actually got in which is just amazing I'm so excited it makes me really nervous for the next chapter of my life because I have to move away from home and go to a university in a town I've never lived in before but it ultimately is very exciting and at the same time a little bit scary because I don't know what the future of my channel is going to be while I'm at university. I don't know what the workload will be like. I'm imagining it's going to be quite full on for the course that I'm doing and I still want to be able to make videos and <laughs> I will be very sad if I'm not going to be able to do it but I'm sure I'll be able to work something out. Anyway, that is not what today's video is about. In today's video, I'm going to be working on a present for my best friend. So my best friend Eden has recently turned 18 and for her birthday she told me she really wanted a drawing of her and I was more than happy to oblige because I love drawing things for my friends. Also, I forgot to mention, I also commissioned someone to make her a drawing for her birthday as well. So I will put their Instagram on screen right now because they are doing commissions right now. They're doing flash commissions and I think they have about four slots left. So if you guys want to commission them as well, I definitely recommend them to you because their style is just amazing and I was so happy with the drawing that I commissioned of my best friend. So in the drawing that I'm making for Eden, I am drawing Canary Wharf and some random building in the background. And the reason I'm doing this, for anyone who's wondering, is because we have like this really weird inside joke about Canary Wharf that happened one time at a party. It would be quite hard to explain, but um, that's the reason it's there. And also I thought like a city skyline would make quite a nice backdrop in the background. I actually was working on a different drawing before I started this drawing, and I wanted to do a very painterly one. Although I was having so many issues, I think it is because I have been away for like so long and I feel so rusty doing any kind of digital art, it's just really difficult. So I kind of just ended up giving up on that drawing and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to try something with line art instead. And when it comes to things where I want to do line art, I kind of like to do it quite sketchy looking because... Uh, otherwise I spend too long on it and I really hate doing line art. So, and I... I don't know, I just kind of like the sketchy look. So I really wanted to make it very sketchy. I feel like with some afterthought about this drawing, I may have given her too strong a jawline. She does already have quite a strong jawline, but I think I over exaggerated it a little bit too much. But overall, I am very, very happy with this drawing and I think I did capture her likeness pretty well. I'm really excited to be able to give it to her and I think I'm gonna print it out like, uh, a full size and have it framed or something and that will be part of her present. But um, that brings me on to my next topic which is future videos. Um, I am really running out of ideas of things to do on this channel and I ha actually I say that but I do have like a few ideas in my mind. I just really would like input from you guys as to what you want to see. I'm thinking I'm gonna do another drawing your OCs soon but in the meantime, I kind of wanted to do the time skip meme. And for those of you who aren't aware of what that is, it is basically a drawing, um, I want to say challenge, it's not really a challenge, but it's a drawing idea where you do uh, a drawing of like a timeline of from when you were little to now. And you draw yourself from different stages of your life. And I thought that was a really cute idea and I thought it would be really fun to do and also I really wanted to see other people's ones because um, I saw quite a few on Instagram they looked really cool so that's what inspired me to do that in the first place so I have one of those that I'm preparing right now I also really want to do the expressions challenge because ages and ages ago now on my Instagram I posted a load of expressions and I had loads of people 
um, tell me what expressions I should draw each character in and I haven't ever gotten round to it and I think that would make a really interesting video especially as expressions are an area that I really want to improve in. Also I wanted to add that now that I'm back I'm going to be able to live stream again and I kind of want to have like a permanent live stream day like a live stream every Friday or every Sunday or something like that but I want to know what you guys think would be the best day to do it because it's probably going to run quite late. For those of you who aren't subscribed to my side channel, Jenna Boring, I live stream on there very frequently and they tend to be a little bit more chilled out and relaxed than my streams on this channel because I don't have many subscribers on my side channel so not too many people come to the streams and it's really like chill. So if you refer, if you would prefer a stream like that because I know the streams on this channel, the chats get quite crazy um if you would prefer something like that then totally go over there subscribe to that channel if you want to and you can start attending those streams because they're super fun sometimes i have the webcam sometimes i don't because i look like a trash bag but other days that it is on but yeah anyway um in general at the moment i'm just feeling super happy and chilled out and I don't know I've never really felt so happy in my life before and I know that's like really deep but um I just wanted to say that and I'm really enjoying being back on YouTube and I love making videos and I have to be honest with you guys I always really struggle with voiceovers because I never really know what to say and sometimes I feel like if I'm explaining what I'm doing or giving any kind of art advice I don't really feel qualified to do so but Part of me feels really excited that I am going to be doing animation because this animation course I'm doing at this university, the first year of it is actually really interesting because it's split into different parts. You learn how to do 3D animation, 2D animation, concept art and game design. So I can branch out into any of those subjects in the second and third year. So this is really going to help me improve my art by miles and also work out what I want to do with my future because for a very long time I've been really set on the idea that one day I will become a 3D animator and work on hopefully <laughs> big 3D films but um, as time goes on I'm kind of open to different ideas of things I can do and part of me wants to be a concept artist and then another part of me is like Am I going to be able to draw quick enough to do that? Because I heard that you have to be able to pump out loads and loads of drawings in a really short amount of time in order to be a concept artist. And you also have to be very good at drawing poses, anatomy, buildings, etc. And we all know how I feel about things like that. So, uh, you know. But you know, nothing is ever beyond your reach, guys. Like, be ambitious. <laughs> reach for your dreams. I don't know. But... I don't know why this has become like super like a motivational speech. I'm just in a weird mood honestly. I also kind of feel like maybe you should guys should give me like conversation topics I can talk about in my videos because otherwise I go on the weirdest tangents and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna finish this video talking a little bit more about my best friend because this was my present to her and um, I just want to say that she is an amazing person and I'm really glad I have become friends with her. As time has gone on we've realised we have so much in common with one another. We both love art and drawing and we are both just as eccentric as one another so it was only natural that we would end up becoming best friends and I'm super happy to have her in my life. She's just one of those people that when you're around they just give you so many like positive vibes and they're just very uplifting. So. Eden, if you're watching this, I am very, very happy I can call you my best friend and even though we're both going to different universities and we're going to be on other sides of the UK from one another and four hours apart, we hopefully will still stay in contact and still talk just as regularly as we do now. But um, I'm really sad. I'm kind of really sad because I have a load of friends I'm going to be leaving behind because loads of them are going to university. Some of them aren't but a lot of them are and it's really sad because it feels like a chapter of my life is now ending but I'm very very excited and happy that everything is changing and I can't wait to see what hopefully positive change will happen and 
<laughs> sorry about how random the end of this video has been but i really hope you guys enjoy this and i really hope i am uh, able to make another video for tomorrow as well anyway bye guys and i'll see you again soon